Hey doctor, Adam Roseland here and today's video is going to be about Google Ads for dentists. Uh, I speak with many dentists and orthodontists on a daily basis and uh, many are using our services to run Google Ads for them, but I speak with a lot of prospects that can't afford our services and that's totally acceptable, total, un totally understandable in today's market. Um, so I wanted to do a quick video that kind of walks you through our process. Obviously, we'll get better results than you'll do on your own. However, I did want to give you the kind of the, the, the basics, the bullet points of what you need to do to get started with Google Ads. So I'm going to take you over to our screen here and uh, I'm going to get myself minimized. What you want to do is go to ads.google.com to get started. And Google does a terrific job of walking you through how to set up ads, how to how to get your campaign started um, from A to Z. However, there are a lot of things beyond just the ads that themselves that you kind of need to understand, and that's what this is going to be focused on. But if you want a, a tutorial on getting Google ads themselves, Google does that very well in, on, on their own. So just go to ads.google.com. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for, for keywords. Now, I, I recommend when starting that you just get started with uh, typing in things that are your primary area of, uh, of expertise. Uh, if you're an orthodontist, you're going to talk about braces, Invisalign, clear, clear aligner, stuff like that. If you're looking to get dental implants, obviously those are going to be the keywords. If you're just a general dentist, then it could be something like teeth whitening, emergency dentist, or something like that. I do recommend that you go after higher value keywords. Uh, what, I, what I don't want you to do is advertise for a service that's not going to be profitable to you. So I use a company called kwfinder.com. I'm going to have a link below um, for you to, to, to get to it. Uh, but really what, what we do is we, we just type in keywords like, you know, again, uh, we're going to type in for this purpose, uh, Invisalign. And what we're going to figure out is kind of what keywords people are searching for. And therefore, we're going to also understand what the costs are associated with it and, uh, you know, what the, uh, the, the difficulty is to get ranked for it. So just for Invisalign, I'm going to look in the United States, people speaking English. Um, but what we're going to see is kind of market trends. We're going to see a whole bunch of keywords. Um, Invisalign, Invisalign me, teeth straightening, things like that are going to be keywords that people are going to be interested in. What I don't recommend you do is create a huge list until you really know what you're doing with marketing. I would recommend five to ten different keywords to get started. Maybe something like invisible braces, Invisalign cost, Invisalign, Invisalign near me, teeth liners. Um, you know, again, uh, Invisalign, uh, um, you know, or clear, clear aligners might be something. Um, it doesn't have to just be this. And you can start typing in like clear braces and get an uh, idea of what exactly, you know, other keywords are and their search volumes. So when we see that, we're going to see a search volume. We're going to have an approximate cost per click, CPC, and then a keyword difficulty. Now, keyword dif difficulty is traditionally going to be talking about how hard it is to get ranked. For that keyword, PPC is going to show you, um, again, the level of competition for that particular keyword. So um, teeth aligners, aligners, uh, ceramic braces, different things. Um, from there, it's obviously a good thing to, to, to start with that. But what we want to do is, uh, is then create ads that we think are going to be effective. Um, so what I recommend is that you go ahead and do a, an audit on Google and you can literally just go into google.com and what you could do is type in, you know, things like, uh, Invisalign, um, and let's just say Miami, for example, and you'd obviously want to do your local area. And what you're going to see is different ads that are showing up for that particular keyword search. Uh, again, if you're going to be doing dental implants or, you know, uh, pediatric dentistry, it's going to be different uh, searches. But what you do want to do is find out in your local area or near me. It should give you an idea. Um, and then really what you're going to look for is kind of what the people are doing. Are they advertising price points? Are they doing zero down? Or, you know, are they putting in their hours? Um, are they putting their phone number in the ad? Uh, again, price points matter, uh, especially if your pricing is going to be, for instance, $5,000 for Invisalign. If you find somebody out here doing Invisalign from uh, 1999, that means that their ad starts them at 1999. And then again, once they get that, them in for the consult, they're going to be upticking them. But that's what you're competing with. So if you have a $5,000 price point, you're probably not going to get a lot of clicks when somebody else has a, a much lower uh, price point. So what I recommend is doing a number of different searches. Uh, I actually use a, um, a, a, a system, a audit system that, again, I'm going to put a link below in. Um, this is a, a monthly fee. 
um, but it's uh, super valuable. So what you know, what it would allow me to do is kind of figure out exactly how many competitors are in the market, uh, what keywords they're doing, take a quick look at their ads, uh, when people are running, and the like. So um, I can quickly figure out you know what ads look like. So let's just say I you know I'm doing it for my particular dentistry practice. Um, I'm going to look at kind of what my ads look like, or you know again if you don't have any ads going yet, um, you can that's that's totally cool. Um, you can see what your competition is doing. Um, so what we're going to look for is again, are they putting numbers in? Uh, obviously, you're going to have some national competitors as well as some local competitors. Uh, what we want to figure out is what are they doing again with their keywords? Are they using extensions? Uh, what town names are they advertising in? That's always valuable to me. Uh, a comp com competition. How many you know people are competing? Uh, it, it showed me quickly that in this particular uh, this audit that I ran, and again I'll show you the schedule. I ran it over a couple different days, uh, the past few days, and what I'm doing is checking every couple hours. You know what uh, what you know. Who's advertising? How many people are advertising in the local market? And uh, that way, I can get a feel for it. Again, I showed you what kind of ads they're running, uh, but I, I want to see how many people there are. You know, uh, nine different competitors here. Uh, are they using extensions? Only fifty percent uh, of, of my ads in this particular client um, are, are, are extension based, and this actually isn't a client, but it's somebody I'm, I'm targeting. Um, they're doing it on their own already. Uh, phone extensions, how many people have uh, you know, phone extensions in their ads? 83% do. Uh, keywords, keywords is an important factor. Um, this is just a general dentist keyword, but again, dentist near me, dentist near Malvern, Delta Dental. These are the keywords that are being used locally uh, for this particular uh, you know, practice. And again, I showed you kind of when they're running, um, how many ads are running, how many competitors are running at different times in the local area. Now, I chose a couple different areas uh, small towns uh, around me to get a good feel for this. Um, you know, at, at most we had nine total advertisers, but again, you know, if we noticed Wednesday at 10 a.m. there were seven, Thursday and Friday at 10 a.m. there were only two, uh, two different advertisers. So if you're looking to be effective with your advertising, it's better to advertise when not a lot of people are advertising. It's also cheaper. So Wednesdays are obviously a big day. We know that a lot of doctors take off Thursdays and Fridays, so they're not advertising because their offices are closed. Uh, so that's always good, good information. So again, what you'd want to do is just go ahead, type in, you know, cosmetic dentist or something like that. See what the people are doing, uh, what their ads look like, what the uh, the re relevance is as far as uh, you know to that particular keyword. Um, I think it's important to have. Again, high value offers, uh, $99 special might not be the best thing that you want to do if you're a cosmetic dentist. You might be wanting uh, to look at dental implants or, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, veneers or, uh, or, or, or something high value because advertising is expensive. Um, if you are having a lot, of val uh, a lot of clients come in from these ads, that's great. But if you're only going to get, you know, maybe, maybe five to 10 new clients a month, um, it can be expensive if you're only getting $99 for each uh, new client. So just something to consider. Uh, so I, I do want to capture traffic that has a high buying intent. So again, cosmetic dentist is going to be a very uh, generic search. Uh, the more they are localized, the more uh, you know that it's focused on an emergency. If they're looking for pricing, that's the kind of stuff where somebody's in the market to buy. So it might be more effective. So. Once we know exactly what the keywords are that we have, uh, we, we, we've run an audit, we have an idea of what the ads are going to look like, uh, we, we know what, uh, what, you know what the intent is to get the people to, the, to our website, what we want to do is make sure we have a good landing page. Uh, and, and a good landing page is clear and, uh, and, and, and consistent with what the ad said. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of people, I find, drive traffic directly to a home page. And this can be effective if you have a home page that, uh, that, that has a very clear call to action and the intent is to get them to book an appointment or a consultation with you. Too often I find kind of these uh, glamorous websites that just show smile after smile, but at the end of the day, if I'm driving somebody from Google who's looking for a cosmetic dentist, um, I want to get them in, their butts in, into a chair, quite frankly. So what I want to do is I want to have a clear phone number, very obvious. Um, this landing page is obviously focused on either getting a phone call or getting a form submission. It does have information about the practice. It has res uh, you know some testimonials. Um, you know, or reviews, but the, the office hours, all that information is there. But again, the focus being we want them to pick up the phone and dial or we want them to submit, submit their information. So making sure that your traffic goes to a landing page that's focused on conversions is super important. 
From there, uh, once they submit this information, uh, so many of my, my, my clients are so happy about this next step because they didn't have a plan in place. And this is what I highly recommend you do um, on your own if you don't work with a company like mine, and it's an automated follow-up system. So when somebody submits this information, what we're doing is, again, we're capturing their name, email address, and phone number. Uh, and that really goes into our system in an automation where we're gonna be reaching out to them immediately. And what I mean by that is a minute, two minutes, three minutes later, we're, we're hitting them up on Facebook. If they came through a Facebook ad, we're, we're, we're leaving a voicemail um, that goes directly to their voicemail. Uh, we're texting, we're sending emails, and we're doing all this to try and get an immediate response while the idea of somebody booking an appointment with you is hot on their, their, their minds. So um, too often we find the front desk is busy or you, the doctor, are sitting and working with a patient in the back or you're in the console, and so nobody's actually following up with these hot leads. Uh, so an automation system gets the conversions to happen um, much faster and it hits people while they're, uh, they're busy. So if you're looking to minimize your response, to response time to hot leads and maximize your conversions, I highly, highly recommend that you get yourself a a, um, an automation system. Um, from there, what we also want to do is make sure that we're doing some kind of uh, retargeting. So whether it be uh, again a, a simple uh, you know a simple ad that shows that somebody's been on your website and if we haven't gotten them booked, what we want to do is retarget with some kind of offer, whether it be again a discounted offer, a, uh, a price point, or just a simple free consultation message. What we want to do is retarget the traffic. Um, usually going from Google Ads, I, I like to retarget onto Facebook or Instagram because it's, again, it's a visual mechanism. Uh, so. I had them intent, they found our site. If they didn't for some reason book a consultation already, I'm trying to drive them back to that consultation page where they're uh, booking, using a booking calendar to try and get set up. So really, really quickly what we're gonna do is again, we're gonna get people on Google, we're gonna have an ad that, that looks like this. The first thing we wanna do is find keywords that are relevant. Uh, we, we then wanna do an audit. Uh, we wanna create the ads that are very specific and, high, and create high buyer intent. Uh, we wanna have them go to a simple landing page that's gonna focus on conversions. We're gonna have an automation system that's gonna drive, uh, drive our conversions without us having to actually pick up the phone and call them. And then finally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna retarget anybody that hasn't already booked. So hopefully this has been valuable information. This definitely can get you, uh, you know, started with a, with a Google Ads campaign. Um, again, this focus is Google Ads for Dennis. Uh, we do Facebook ads and Instagram ads beyond that, but this video is not gonna cover that. Um, I did just want to get you focused on getting your Google Ads campaign set up. If you do want a professional uh, you know, to do this for you, uh, my, my information is going to be below. We can set up a quick marketing call, see if this is something that's worth your time. Um, again, the whole idea is that we want to make sure that you're getting a return on your marketing investment. So I uh, hope this has been value, valuable to you. If you, uh, you want to leave a, a comment below or uh, you know, put a like, that's always great. Um, subscribe below would also be valuable because I will be creating more of our, uh, videos that are, that are relevant to people that are doing this on their own. And again, thanks for your time and uh, hopefully we'll hear from you soon.